how to get your care home showcase on the regional BBC or ITV television news. Why might you be wanting to do this? Well, particularly if you want to uh, promote your home uh, and you want to uh, see it featured positively in the local media in order to detract more inquiries, perhaps to reach more private pay uh, family members. Being featured on BBC or ITV News is one key way to do, do this. Um, and of course, the regional news um, reaches tens of thousands, 50,000 50, plus people. And it's such a great way to um, showcase your home. And also often with the BBC or regional television coverage, you can get a copy of that video. And itself, it can just be a wonderful, wonderful report on everything that you do well at your care home. So how can you get your care home on your regional BBC or ITV news? Well, there's one key way, because you have to remember that the um, your local BBC and ITV television news, one thing they are particularly interested in is what looks good on camera, and what is visually appealing for their viewers. And what you have going on probably your care homes are actually some things that will fit that bill, particularly around, for example, activities or art classes, maybe unusual particular art classes, for example. I'm going to give you some examples. So some care homes that we work with, they have, a, they use the oomph fitness classes. You may know of those funky fitness classes. Um, which uh, a slightly different take on your general activity classes and they can uh, they're just so because they are funky fitness classes they are slightly different to standard activity classes they can provide a lot of use of pom-poms um, a lot of music um, and visually very very appealing um, they're quite innovative innovative but it's tied in the fitness classes of course are tied in with the requirement that uh, the stimulating activities at your care homes um, and looking after and stimulating the uh, via activities elderly people who are in care homes so there's a public interest to it as well so that kind of story is very very pitchable to your local bbc or itv news that's one example. Another example, and again, you might this might prompt examples that you might have, is the One Care Home we knew. They did um, art classes featuring a, a half-naked male model. So again, you had this this uh, uh, intriguing visual camera opportunity of you know, people in the 70s, 80s, 90s doing art classes at the care home featuring a, uh, a, a half-naked new model. I mean, it was as part of a of a particular initiative that was um, being run by this uh, local art teacher, a very prestigious art teacher. So it was, you know, it was all very professionally put together. But again, you had just had this wonderful story um, evolving of uh, the news models coming into a local care home and the residents getting involved and being taught and guided on how to uh, sketch and draw a new model. And so you were able to bring in this very, very visually, again, appealing image uh, and camera opportunities for the uh, local uh, BBC and ITV journalists. So that kind of thing, if you can tie, think of something that's very, as I said, visually appealing, that work well on camera, it's got a public interest to it, it's got a health benefits for people with dementia or physical activities. So there's a, a as I say, what's called a public interest element to it. That's the kind of story that you pitch. And how do you get hold of your BBC or ITV journalists? Well, it's slightly different to other media because the best way to do it is to get through to what's called the production rooms, the production uh, areas, suites of your BBC or ITV 
um, uh, uh, channels locally to you. Um, and the, what the production editor does is he or she will plan out, schedule out. Another name for this, for the department, is called the scheduling department. They will schedule out what stories, news stories, their journalists will cover over the next week or two weeks. So if you can find the email address and name of that BBC or ITV journalist who works in either the production department or the scheduling department, and pitch your story to them via email and even via phone. You know, you can get the email addresses sometimes by going through to the BBC or ITV regional office and and inquiring to ask to be put through to the production or the scheduling department for the newsrooms and they will often put you through or at least give you a number, call them, um, get through and find out who that the name of that production editor is and finds out his or her email address because that will a be a, an opportunity for you to pitch this kind of story that will get your care home in the local news in a very very positive way and by the way in terms of commissions and consents from residents the local journalists are always very understanding of that and will always help out. They will always understand that. So that's something that you can work together with your local journalists rather than being concerned about it and think it will in some way um, <clears throat> and, you know, jeopardize what you want to do. Um, by the way, if you've got any thoughts or comments, thanks Gary, just put them in the comments section. Thanks everyone for joining, Wendy, Gillian, Kane, Haley, uh, Eddie, Ro uh, Rob, thanks so much for joining. I hope this is useful to you. As I said, just add some comments here. Very, very happy to help out right now um, for you. So, and the benefit also of finding out that scheduling or production editor is that they can be a, a long term contact for you because. Other stories that you can have, you can then pitch to them, include them in your media list. Um, and sometimes, you know, even if you've got a launch of a new service and you maybe have some um, celebrity coming, and again, you can provide a bit of a public interest element to that story. That's something else that the local BBC and ITV television crews are interested in. Um, and the local television companies are interested in elderly or care home stories. Um, so there are real opportunities. Uh, and I urge you just think about what those opportunities, using some of those examples I've just given, um, to think how you can get your home essentially showcased on the BBC or ITV news. And I'll, I'll, I'll see if I can give some examples in the comment section later, some links. Um, because you can then not only get the, uh, the benefit, the PR marketing benefit of that story being featured on your local news and the massive audience that it reaches, but then you can use that story on your own website. You can use it on your, essentially your own website and Facebook pages in order to, sorry, I just turned off my alarm, in order to, um, just show how your home is so much different to those around you and demonstrate one, your wonderful quality of care. Um, and media coverage by the likes of BBC and ITV, which as I said, you can get, um, is probably the ultimate, the ultimate third party endorsement of your care home. So I hope that helped. I hope that was useful.